Texas A&M heads to the Plains to take on Auburn. Auburn, a one and a half point favorite. Total of 48 and a half latest numbers at BetUS. Let's pull it up on the screen, and then I will get into the trend lines here. The road team in this matchup is 8-2 and two against the spread in the last 10. That would favor Texas A&M here. A&M is 7-0 and oh against the spread on the road against a losing home team, and they are 11-23 and 23 against the spread in their last 34 November games. So that certainly doesn't look good. They're 1-3-1 one, and one against the spread in their last five overall. Auburn, 19-7 and seven against the spread against losing teams. Uh, they are 4-10 and 10 against the spread in their last 14 overall. They are 1-6 against the number in their last seven home games. So all those trends are well and good and whatever. But let's look at the actual stats here. Auburn uh, has slowed down a little bit as far as their explosive, uh, explosive passing and explosive rush rate and all that kind of mess, right? But just a touch. The offense is... Very much boomer bust. Like you look at the success rates, uh, number eighty-six in rushing success rate, but number five in rushing explosiveness. Like they're number twenty-four in PPA per rush. You look at the passing, number one eleven in PPA per pass, number seventy-four in passing success rate, but they're number thirty-one in passing explosiveness. It is they don't hit any of the efficient passes, but they are able to hit some some deep downfield throws with Robbie Ashford. That Texas A&M defense. Man, people are running on them at 65% of the time. It's number 131. They are being run on more than any team in the FBS over the past five weeks. They're number 44 in rushing success rate, but they're number 118 in rushing explosiveness allowed. Tank Bigsby, Robbie Ashford are going to have a lot of fun running the ball on these guys. Um, they're not going to be able to throw it much on a and I don't believe. Uh, now, the passing explosiveness for A&M's defense is number 121. But as far as just overall stuff, uh, number 48 uh, PPA per pass, number 43 passing success. And let's move to offense. Auburn is not good at stopping the run. A&M is not running the ball very much over the past five weeks. Part of that might be the fact that they have been down multiple times. Connor Wigman is supposed to be back in this game. Uh, he, I believe, is their best option at quarterback. Uh, it looks like all those guys that had the flu and whatnot last week for the Florida game, they're going to be back. Um, but you look at you know rushing explosiveness, all this, I, I think A-Chain is better than these numbers. So I think they're still going to have a bit of an advantage over an Auburn defense that's number 121 in PPA per rush, number 126 in rushing success rate, number 86 in rushing explosiveness uh, allowed, number 110 in offensive line yards allowed, and they're only number 108 in stuff rate. Like they're not good on standard downs, um, a&M is at least serviceable on standard downs. I, I think I think you're going to be able to have some success here. Uh, as far as scoring opportunities per game and points per scoring opportunity, A&M has gotten better at that. Number 48 in points per scoring opportunity against number 125 for that Auburn defense. If you get into scoring range on Auburn, you're going to put up points. Uh, on the other side, you know, a points per scoring opportunity for uh, A&M, number 86, but they only give up 6.75 scoring opportunities per game. Auburn only gets to uh, the 40-yard line of the opponent, like 90, or they're number 92. It's only 4.75 uh, per game. So while Auburn is number 40 in points per scoring opportunity, they don't have as many. Just something to pay attention to here. I, I've got Texas A&M favored by five in this spot. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with A&M. Yeah, I'm, I know it's on the road, and I know that uh, all that, which does favor the, the road team in this matchup here, but I, I think I like A&M to be able to get this win here. Uh, I, I like what Carnell Williams did with the game plan and whatnot against Mississippi State last week, especially coming back from a 24-3 deficit early in that game. But, uh, but I think this is a different beast. Uh, I'm going to take A&M plus the one and a half. I think they win the game outright in Auburn. Um I don't think it means that anything is fixed in College Station, for sure. But uh, but I do like them there. Got a nose itch on this. I swear, I saw Josh Pate do this the other night, and uh, I was like, yeah, okay, good. It's not just me. Like, it, it is. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.